the impossible quiz playing the game start a correct answer we go on a wrong answer minus one life notice that it fades in fades out second time the third time game over spins in and try again takes us back we're going to do the one symbol which we'll need to attach which is the wrong symbol so we'll call it wrong we will export it for action script because we are going to refer to it in the code we're going to do this with a pen tool and we're going to have a I did it before let's see black and then red and then black so black stroke red fill and then something black over top of it black stroke I've got red fill the strokes gonna be a little bit and we're gonna go like this looks a little bit uh, too thin we'll fix it up just a second just clicking to draw this path we can fix it later okay um, before I do anything else I'm going to thicken this up a little bit not much okay I'm going to fill this in red and then I'm going to put a black inside so Again, we can change these points in just a moment. In fact, I'll change them right now with the white arrow. I'll just use the arrow keys here. And I won't be perfect. You get the idea? Arrow keys moving these points with the white. We're going to fill this in black. So fill black. And we're going to write wrong and red minus one life in white now the thing is with this symbol it does fade in right so we're on a wrong movie clip that we're going to attach but we want to not just uh, zoom in or anything we, we want to fade it so this has to be a symbol as well inside this symbol so watch how this works Drag over it. We've kind of done this before, but I'm doing it a different way this time. I'm going to make a symbol within a symbol by going convert to symbol. And I'll call this wrong inside. Wrong. And I don't need to export this for action script because we're going to export or attach the, the wrong. And this is just inside it. So now it's a symbol. So now we can fade it in for maybe a second. And F6 and it fades out pretty quickly maybe half a second so it starts at alpha pretty low goes to alpha 100 and then it goes down to alpha pretty low again lots of clicks just look at this a couple of times you'll, you'll get it in motion tween so it comes in. I think that's all it does. It just comes in and goes away. Something like that, that will do. Wrong. And it is exported for action script, so we're good. Each one of these frames will have a question. So I'll just do maybe two for now. But don't forget, each frame has to have a stop. So you'll do 10 questions probably with 10 frames with stop. And each one of the frames will need to be named. So I already have my Q1, now I'll call this Q2. And I'm not going to do the other eight. I'm going to just jump straight to what will be uh, game over. So F6, and I'll call this one game over. All small with one space, remember that. And I'll put my stop, which I haven't done yet. Over so red. And then there's the 
there's a button let's try again so that button will have to go on this frame just a button try again just putting this on the uh, scene we're not going to be communicating to it in the code so pretty simple we can do something else here we need to just point to make it appropriate so we try again goes on our game over frame bit big not a big deal all right and I might as well put the code there now what's the first frame called begin frame So we got that. We're going to go back to our question. So our question is going to have four buttons. There they are. Now let me alt, drag, rotate. Okay, and you can line them up a bit better than that. But for this, that'll do. And one of them is going to be the correct answer. What I'm going to start with for all my 10 questions is put my correct answer there, and I'll put my wrong answers on the other three. And I'll just do that consistently, and then I'll swap things around. So this is the easy one. If they click that, they go to the next frame, Q2. Q2. And the wrongs are going to be more sophisticated. Here's what it's going to look like. If we're wrong, what's going to happen? Well, two things going to happen. One is if, well, we won't do the if. We'll just say lives are going to go down. So lives in code minus minus. Now, we haven't declared lives on code anywhere yet, so maybe we better do that before we do anything else. Where will lives on code go? Lives on code should go in a frame because frames load first. So we're going to go here on this frame Q1. Lives in code is assigned three. So we were here. So lives in code go down, goes down by three, or by one. And if lives in code is less than one, in other words, if it's zero, go to and play game over. And I can't remember if that's what I called it. So I'm going to go take a look and make sure. Yeah. Alright, so we, I guess we can test that. We'll click it three times. I know we have no lives yet, but I mean on the stage there are no lives, but just watch this. If we click the wrong answer three times, one, two, three. Okay, it worked. That worked. Right, so what we need now is, in terms of the lives, to show them on the stage. So we'll do the static text, lives. be a bit bigger and red whatever and so that's static doesn't change but now a dynamic text box which will change depending on the lives and we'll call this lives on stage and by the way let me do this before I forget if you've got a nice fancy font here that you want everybody to be able to see, you need to export it. This is not a common one, Minstrel, so we're going to embed the font. Click on Embed. And we don't want to take all the different Chinese and Japanese and other kinds of glyphs. All we need is A to Z and maybe the numbers. So let's just take the basic, basic Latin, 95. It won't make that much memory. So now any computer will have that font to be able to play it in this game. So we got Lives on stage. So when lives and code goes down, lives on 
stage gets that value, lives in code. So let's see that. Do three wrong, it should start at three. Yep, two, one, game over. Now we're gonna do the wrong thing, where we attach the wrong. So basically, uh, if the lives go below one, we go the game over, else, let's do both braces now, else, we attach this movie clip wrong. So on the stage, let's call it wrong with small w, is assigned attach movie, yep, wrong, comma, wrong, we'll just call it something different, wrong one. Now, I don't know what numbers I've used yet, let me just use 999, I don't think I've used that yet. And in terms of placement, I'm going to guess to begin with wrong dot underscore x halfway. We're looking at what, like 250 maybe? Wrong dot underscore y. Oh, 200. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's supposed to point at the, the lives, but let's just see where we're at. Nine, nine, nine. nine. Is it nine? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Now, uh, not bad. Uh huh, except that that's not stopping. But anyway, let's just see if it works. Right, so that wrong life we gotta fix, but pretty well, other than that, we're done. So let's go to lives, fix that one up. Uh, da -da -da. Da, 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 what was it? Wrong, wrong. Right, so what we're going to do here inside this wrong is right here, just this dot remove movie clip. That's going to remove it after it comes in and fades away once. So um, I better play it just to be sure, but I think we're good. I think we're good. We know that the game over works. Now the wrong one life works. So let me just check that my go to and play the next question worked and I'm not gonna be able to tell. Well, yes, I am, because I didn't put anything in there yet. So we're good. Now, the um, thing is don't, I should have said this before, don't do all of your frames until you've done one. In fact, if you did some, which you probably did, just, just remove it. Okay, so, because what I wanna do is insert new frames that have all this. So let me copy this code over to the other three buttons. That's it. That, that works fine. Copy. Paste. Paste. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this way over to... Oh, it doesn't even matter. And I've got Q1, 2, 3, 4, oh, it's, it's about to here, I guess. So I'm going to convert all these to keyframes. And they're all going to have all the button and the code and the lives and stuff. So that many convert to keyframes. And they're all going to stop. So I don't care about all this. We'll never get there. We'll just leave that where it is. So these all need stops, though. I'll do one of them. You can do the rest. So here's the deal though. And then I'll call this whatever it's supposed to be. So this is Q1, Q2. Oh, we'll do one more. The idea being that now we don't have to copy paste anything because they've all got the right stuff. Right now we might want to move this with this and so on but uh, the the codes all there it's just just gonna work so let's just try this and so this one is Q2 we'll know that we're on Q2 for testing purposes just by doing a quick little two and playing this and see if Q1 goes to Q2 yeah and then this one should go to another blank one it's good the end. 
Okay, well, not the end. Because you got to put your questions on. So, But that's not such a big deal, right? Question, question, question. Be like, oh, how come it didn't stay? You might have to make a new layer and put a keyframe. But actually, you'll need a keyframe for all of them. So do this. Go over. If you can, drag over all these. Drag over all of them if you want. Um, and insert keyframes. Convert to keyframes. Yeah, okay, and that'll work. So then you have a keyframe for two on a question two on this layer above the button layer. You got your question, whatever. You go to the next frame. Yeah, and you should be fine. Or I guess these are answers to put the questions out there. So the end.